So here we are again, my first Trading 22 portfolio update of 2021. Wow, that sounds weird. And lockdown 3.0 has made me go a little bit crazy. And I've done something that I normally wouldn't do. I bought a penny stock. What have I done? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ewan and on this channel we talk about personal finance and investing in the stock market. So if that's something that tickles your fancy, then why not hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. But please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random dude on the internet in a funny colored t-shirt. So please, please, please do your own research before investing your capital. So let's begin with the free shares that I get from you guys. So thank you very much whoever has signed up because it does mean that it helps support this channel and obviously you get a free share as well. So it does work both ways, which is obviously good for all of us. In December, we made 713 pounds and six pence. And we had two notable free shares from AstraZeneca or AstraZeneca. How you pronounce it is dependent on who you watch on YouTube. Sorry, Panda Boss. I don't mind some YouTube beef as Offset says. I'll do anything for clout. <laughs> so for this month in free shares, we're at around 175 pounds, and hopefully we should make around 400 pounds in free shares, which is pretty decent. It's not as good as the last couple of months, but I do know that it is a volatile income source. And this is why we should have a diverse set of income coming in from all different angles and making us wealthy. So in slightly better news, we are nearly at 4,000 pounds in the invest slash the free shares uh, count on Trading Summer 2. So I'm really, really happy about that. And we have around a seven to 8% return on this account with Roku and Tesla doing most of the work. And if we look at my pies, so we've got my two by two ARK Invest pie, which is up 11% and my dead pie, which just includes a load of ETFs, which is also up 3%, which is a lot when you're considering it's ETFs that don't grow a massive amount over a year period. And this is really good because this is potentially a short-term investment because this money might need to be used for expenses or living expenses, etc. when I go full-time. So that's why I haven't put it into my ISA because if I put it into my ISA, then it's gone. I'm not gonna touch that. But if it's in here, then I can touch it. Um, but obviously I will have to pay tax on all of this income. So that is another consideration. So thank you again for anyone who signed up. If you haven't signed up to Free Trade, Stake, or Trading 2 and 2, or even Coinbase, then there are some links in the description where you can get some mutually beneficial free shares. Anyway, let's get into the good stuff. My Trading 2 and 2 stock portfolio is up 26%. Again, we're in the green, so whoop whoop. And we just peaked over 16,000 pounds, which is awesome and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's gonna be no victory dance this time. If you wanna go watch the victory dance, then go watch it last time because everyone just stopped watching when I started dancing. So maybe that's a hint that I should never dance ever again. But if you do wanna see me bust some moves, then make sure you comment and like, um, and then let me know if you do like my moves. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. No. Not that one. All of you know how perfect I am. Well, at least that's what my mom tells me. But I did in fact crumble and broke my own rules of investing this month. I fully did a YOLO and I blame Boris. I bought a penny stock on Trading 20. I bought 4,666 shares. I should have worked that out, 666 number of the devil. Anyway, I bought a lot of shares in Supply At Me Capital, which cost me 30 pounds. And let's have a look at how it's actually done since I bought it. So you can see my portfolio is up at 16,000. Let's go down, where are we? Oh, if we jump in, um, you can see that it is down 24% since the start, and it is down nearly 4% today. And overall, I'm down 19.5%. Which I mean, it's not too bad because it's only 30 pounds, but hopefully this can teach you and me a lesson in not following random people on Twitter and random people on social media. You need to do your own research because that is the only way you can be sure that you are doing the right thing. The reason that I do not recommend stocks is because I don't want people to blindly follow what I say. I am not a complete stock expert. I've done my research on what I'm investing in, but that doesn't mean I'm the Warren Buffett of this generation because I'm just not. So please do be careful with who you're listening to and make sure you do your own research. I can't stress that enough. However, on the flip side, I did actually do some research into this company and I do think it is potentially a good buy. 
So I'm not recommending that you go buy this. <laughs> you need to do your own research, as I said, but I'm not gonna sell my shares because I do think that this company does have a good product. And they've recently just partnered up with Lenovo Financial Services. So that's a big company that they can potentially build upon and increase their revenue, increase their profit. Well, they're not actually making profit at the moment, which is why it's another big swing, but it's only 30 pounds. So maybe it will rebound over the next coming months and maybe will grow into a huge company, which they are hoping to do so. They wanna be a global brand with what they're doing. It is a bit of a complex product, but it is potentially a game-changing, innovative FinTech company. So have a look. Check it out if you want. Let me know if you're gonna jump in. So in terms of my overall portfolio, this is the only one that's letting me down, which is the SYME. Because it's only a little amount, it's not actually affecting the portfolio massively. Um, and obviously we've got Zoom, which is around 9%, 10% down, but it's only 12 quid in there. Like I said, last month, it's not having a massive impact. So what we've got in green is outweighing what we've got in red. Anyway, the winners this month are slightly different. We've had a new high flyer. You may have heard of them. It is called uh, Tusla, Tusla, is that right? Tusla, Tesla, Tesla, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so they're up 67%. Admittedly, I don't even have one share yet, not even half a share yet. It's not doing massive things for my portfolio, but I'll take the 120 pound gain. And obviously what Elon is doing at the moment is helping his share price. So yeah. Well done for being the richest man, Elon. Good on you, get back to work. <laughs> Second place, we've got Walt Disney, which is up 53%, up 1% from last month, which is pretty good, C can't complain. As you may or may not know, the dividend is no longer being paid out um, because they are reinvesting back into their streaming services, which is going well, and they're bringing out some new original features over the next coming months. So watch out for that, because that could be another bump in the stock price if that takes off. And compared to Netflix, Netflix is struggling for me anyway at just 5% down. I got into Netflix a bit late, so there's a bit of a disparity because I put a lot of money into Disney back in March and not so much into Netflix until a few months ago. So that's why there is a bit of disparity. And then we've got another recurring event, which is Apple being third on the list at 49%, which is really good. We love Apple, keep investing in Apple. Apple phone, Apple Mac, you know what I mean? It happens. And then we have some honorable mentions where we have legal and general at 45%. And we've got the e-car, which is mostly Tesla, which is up 28%, which we like. And then we have SSE, which is up 25% as well. And then a bit of a surprise for me is Airbnb, which is up 17%. So there's a lot of talk about it being overpriced and I think it could potentially go up and down because we're still in early stages of its IPO or early stages of being public. So it's gonna go up and down, but 17% return, I like it. I like to see it. That's nice. <laughs> oh God. And then of course we have my favorite, which is VUSA and that is up 31%. So that is the majority of my portfolio and it's up around two grand. So hence why most of the portfolio is based like around this. And we got a cheeky dividend of 25 pounds. So that has been reinvested back into this portfolio. So that's what we do. We just reinvest, 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 reinvest. And then we get to a point where we don't need to reinvest anymore. We can take a bit out and splurge. But for now, we're in the reinvestment stage. We're building the empire. So let's look at the overall picture and look at my trading two and two pies. So as you can see, we are all in green again. So we love to see that. We've got the two by two ARK Invest pie, which is my newest pie at around 11% up. We've got my millionaire pie, which is ahead by 27%. The pie for Leisha pie also is up 13, nearly 14%. So this may look a bit different to last month because I imported my investments from the investment side to the pie side which makes it look a lot more inflated because I think I only had probably maybe a thousand pound in my millionaire pie and now it's 15 grand, but it's, I haven't added 15 grand. It was just on the other side, if that makes sense. So let's go back to the newest. The newest pie is my two by two ARK Invest pie, which is up around 10% or 11%, which is really good. And I'm happy with that considering we've only had it around one to two months. Hopefully it grows a little bit more so that we can 
fight with some of the other people in the Discord group um, about who's the best ARK Invest Pi copier. <laughs> so hopefully we see a bit more growth by the next time I do the next video on that. And if we delve in a bit further, because it says it's behind, it's only projected to get to 77 thousand pounds after eight years so we need to up up that a little bit get some more uh gains going hopefully that does happen but we'll see what happens the millionaire pie which is the most drastic because i've added quite a lot of money effectively because i've imported it over so it looks a lot different to it did last month um but as you can see we've got some dividends coming in and we've got some cash sat in there so hopefully that will be invested next time that i put some money in um, but it's looking fairly good and I'm very confident that if we look over here that we're 406% over the projected so in 40 years we'll be around 5 million pounds apparently based on 15% annual return. So that is a bit questionable, <laughs> that's a bit questionable. If it does make that then we're, we're living good in our retirement home aren't we? Ruby. <laughs> and then if we look at the pie Felicia pie, we are up 14%, which is really good for a dividend pie. Um, so if we look in here, we've got 17 pounds stuck in cash there as well. One pound 36 in dividends, which for a dividend pie is not ideal, but it hasn't been going that long. And there's not a lot of money in there. So the dividends that we are getting won't be very much. So as always, I invest 150 pounds into my millionaire pie around 50 pounds into my Pi Felicia Pi, and now 50 pounds into my ARK Invest Pi every single month. And that's the way it will continue until I don't do that, <laughs> until I quit my job, and then I have a little bit less disposable income, depending on how this channel goes, of course. And I will leave the links to these pies down in the description if you do want to copy them, but please, please, please make sure you do your own research before blindly copying. But make sure you do your own research before just blindly copying, because that would be silly, wouldn't it? And you obviously didn't listen to my videos, but you know what I mean, I'm not gonna get angry at you unless you copy me blindly. My overall portfolio is up 26%, so I'm really happy with that, and hopefully it continues in that vein. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen over the next few months because we never know what's gonna happen when the furlough scheme ends and this Rony Rona thing is finished. If it ever finishes, who knows what's gonna happen. I just think we need to be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. But I'd love to know what you think. What do you think is gonna happen over the next few months? What do you think is gonna happen with the illness? <laughs> the illness i think roni rona sounds better but but whatever happens i'll be still here chatting away talking about money and personal finance and if you want to follow along on my journey to financial freedom and millionaire status <laughs> then please hit that like button and subscribe as well so yeah anyway that's enough from me hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful or just informative or fun whatever i'm not a millionaire but i'm trying to help you become one so peace